This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. As a partner of Truefire, um, I get all access membership so I can get this thing where you can dip in and out of basically all of the material on their site. The all access membership, I think it's about $99. If you use the link below, you could try that out. But what I like to do is go in there and you know like some people scroll Netflix and stuff like that. Instead of that, what I like to do is find inspiring guitar teachers and lessons and think about stuff that maybe I'm not particularly good at on guitar and what I found most recently was this finger style stuff um, because I was watching some YouTube videos of Tommy Emmanuel playing some jazz standards and essentially it just made me think right that's interesting you know I really like Tommy's playing and the finger style thing is not something that I'm particularly good at and Tommy has a, a course on there called finger style milestones which I've been sort of inspired by and I've been picking up the acoustic when I'm downstairs and you probably noticed or maybe noticed that I've been doing some introductions where I've written kind of my own finger style exercises. Essentially, he's got 97 videos as part of this course with some really cool kind of exercises. Um, I found that I needed to kind of make myself some more of these starting points because if you jump into the course, um, for instance, you might find basically you've got play along with tabs and stuff. These things that look really simple, but are not super simple, but he talks through kind of the technique, he talks through how he's thinking about this stuff, and he talks quite a lot as well about how he sees the guitar and the journey of playing guitar. I found this course super interesting and uh, super inspiring. It has, as I say, I've written so far about sort of 11 little exercises for myself um, that I may share with you at some point, but that's one of the things on Truefire that I've really enjoyed, you know, just of an evening, pick it up. The, the videos tend to be sort of bite-sized chunks and then give you something to work on. And I think that's a probably really, really positive way for most of us to, to start delving into something maybe a bit new. So Truefire, I think as well, there's been a multitude of things that I found interesting on there, like Tim Miller, Andy Timmons, um, Tommy Emmanuel, Martin Taylor. So for me, it makes sense to do the all access pass thing because then throughout the year, throughout the months, you could just jump in and find, find something that is gonna spark your interest for a bit longer. That's Truefire. You can also use the JNC40 
discount code to get 40% off of any of their courses if you were looking for specifics. But I think the all access membership makes quite a bit of sense too. Cheers, True Fire. Part of um, getting more into some of this fingerstyle playing, I, I wanted to share with you on my HX Stomp how I've dialed in a preset which I kind of really like for both this steel string. So this is actually the preset that I use live, although this is a, a little bit of a twist on it. Um, but I wanted to share it with you just in case you can find some use of it. So at the very end here, we've got a dynamic plate. Now, of course, you may or may not need this. Um, but for me, this is a, a bit of an ambient preset. And that's why that's there. But what I might do if I was potentially playing live instead would be to use the tile reverb, which is a bit of a room. And experiment with that. So this is kind of... Okay, then I've got a retro reel here, which is actually... Like giving it a bit of that more sparkly magic sound, the kind of tape thing. I would keep that one in there, but you can see the settings there, wow flutter at 0.7. Tape speed at 7.5 and texture 6.3. Okay, so that's one aspect. Down here is where I've got the kind of weird Chase Bliss stuff going on, which is involving a reverse delay, which you can hear there. So if you want to copy those settings, you can, but it's not necessarily essential for this stuff. This is just um, for me to get some kind of pad stuff behind. And then a glitch delay, quarter note, two note, 66% uh, mix, feedback 30%, slice feedback 10%, shuffle 50%, pitch 44, reverse 50, and the intervals both plus 12. And those go into a tremolo auto pan, and I control this volume here with an expression pedal. Okay, and then what I've got going on is a bunch of EQs. Now you could, in theory, use a, an IR for your acoustic, but I found that to be a little bit of a an area where I'm not exactly sure that they're making my guitar sound more like my guitar. Whereas what I did with these was match an EQ curve of this actual guitar that I'm playing recorded. Now it works really nicely with the nylon string as well, but also I can go in and tweak it if I need to. So first of all, we've got a low high shelf at 70 hertz plus 10. So it's given quite a lot of kick in the low end. One of the things with piezo pickups is I find that they tend to not give you much kind of feel. And that's why I'm boosting that here. Now you're gonna to have to be careful live. And if you're finding that um, this kind of starts feeding back for you, then that'd be a place to look. I've got a parametric EQ here, which is then cutting around 48 kilohertz with a Q of 2.2 minus 6.3. The mid frequency I'm cutting around 2.7 by minus 9. The high frequency is not being touched, and high cut and low cut are not being touched. Then we've got a parametric EQ boosting 123, a low Q, 1.7, and plus 8 dB. Again, if we get rid of this. EQ is really making the, the acoustic come to life here. Um, 520 hertz mid frequency, mid gain minus 6.9, mid Q 3.8. And then the high frequency again, we're pushing by 6 dB, 2.5 and 2.1 kilohertz. And again, so if we get rid of all of that stuff, you'll probably hear. <laughs> 
it's got that kind of piezo grossness. Put them back in. So that's how I dial in my acoustic on here. Um, relatively simple, you know, no compression or anything like that. We're just making some sensible or <laughs> what looks like fairly extreme use of EQ. But if you listen to it, it's quite a balanced tone, I think. And worlds better than just a piezo. So that's how I set it up on the HX Stomp. If you want me to do this for Quad Cortex and maybe for Fractal, leave a comment below and I'll get to it. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now. Oh, and Gumroad will be the place to get this preset and my piezo saver, etc. Um, go check that out. Cheers for now.